your first Chevrolet Performance U.S. Nationals win. Jerry Savoy, go ahead, Jerry. It's a great day. I thank God for being here and being able to tell you people a wonderful thing. Um, like I said, the last round is not the way we wanted to win, but I think we held our composure and uh, we had a good day. We've been blessed. You know, you guys have any questions? Yeah, yeah. what exactly happened in the final where you ran so slow? Well, the past before when we went to 87, we, uh, we actually destroyed the clutch completely. Clutch basket, bearings, everything. So we had to go in the engine and, and make everything out and put a whole new setup. And evidently, it just was not uh, what we thought it was. And it just annihilated the tire first gear. So, you know, that's why we, we, we dropped off so much. Any more questions for Jerry? What does it feel like to win this whole thing? You're very soft spoken, it seems. Well, <laughs> tell him what you told your wife. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, about seven days ago, 4.30, 5 o'clock in the morning, she got up with me and we were sitting down drinking coffee and I said, I said, Mom, if I die today, don't feel sorry for me. I have accomplished everything in my life that I ever wanted to accomplish. Financially, family, racing, it was a big bucket list. Fly my own plane, I've done everything. And from here on out, it's whatever God brings and whatever God gives me is what happens. And here we are today, U.S. Nationals. Been here three times. I mean, I told everybody all weekend, we want it bad. I want it real bad. So, you know, I'd like to thank a couple people. Uh, Vance and Hines. I mean, these guys, Eddie Crary, Byron Hines, Terry Vance, the whole organization, to give us the power to come out here and do what we do is unbelievable. I mean, we have to find it, but, you know, it's there. Uh, Mr. Don with E3 Spark Plugs and High Performance Lubricants, PJ1, all these guys are big contributors to our organization. And uh, without those products, we probably wouldn't go as fast as we do. So uh, I want to thank Double Yellow and also Chevrolet. What a great day to be here yep. with all you guys. It's unbelievable. You know, Jerry, you're uh, you get you, you, you were so emotional the first time you won, and you're still emotional today. And you're a really tough guy, I know, because I've been to your farm and you've told me a lot of stories about well, how you know, got that up and running. Do you think you'll always maintain that level of passion? I think so. Let me tell you, Doug Herbert called me on my first win, and he said, "What do you mean by uh, by being humble?" And uh, I told him, "Imagine." You're in the Superdome, you're five years old, you're eating your popcorn, you close your eyes, and it's the Super Bowl. And you just threw the winning touchdown at five seconds about four o'clock, and your name is Drew Brees. And you wake up, and you look around, and you're not that little kid in the five-year-old in the stands eating popcorn, you are Drew Brees. So all my life I've dreamed and watched on Joe and Antron and all these guys, I took 32 years off, never sat on another motorcycle. And to come out here professionally and win one race and not three races, and then the dad, the big daddy over my own, man, I am humble, so humble. Jerry, going back to what you said about a week ago, was there an underlying reason that they just came out? Or? No, well, just before that, I, I sent Jimmy Pippen a text telling him that. Uh, it's four o'clock in the morning, and I'm thinking about you and praying, praying for you. And then he's really sick. And um, then she came in and got up, and, you know. But look, look, I'm an early guy. If you don't catch me, you better catch me anywhere from 1.30 to 5 o'clock. That's my time schedule, hitting the door running. So, uh, you know, it's all good. But that, that's what makes you think life is really short. And we're all here together, and it's, it's just a just a moment, and before you know it, that moment could be gone. So, thanks. Any more questions for Jerry? By the way, don't forget, you clinched a spot in the countdown to the championship with this win this weekend. Thank you. We have a really good team and a really good motorcycle. Tim Colungian and the whole team, they really worked hard this weekend. I want to thank them also. It's actually a question I have. Last year, you missed it by, I think, one point. 
So how much better does it feel now? To well, it felt good today because Steve stole Stevie Boy is the reason I didn't get in last year. <laughs> I had to knock him out. So, you know, hey, payback. <laughs> and Chaz Kennedy gave me one first round, but last weekend we broke on the line, so right. we even. <laughs> so it's been a good day, man. God. I wish I could be more excited and don't think that I'm not. Uh, I am very excited. I'm just a very low-key guy and I'm not a real conversational kind of guy, you know. Jack, he's a natural. He just screams and hollers and gets there. I, I don't want to go after you. Dude, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's right, that's that is right, how you do it. That's, right, that's right. So, Thank you. Tough act to follow. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you run the run for the championship of promoter? Can I come and hang out with you? You come on my team anytime. Rude Man built the chassis for this fight for Don Schumacher Racing years ago and Mr. Don came to me and I'm going to tell you this, we were struggling and uh, I asked him what did, what did he do to turn things around and he said, you know, just surround myself by good people and good quality parts and, and good engine program and whatnot and, uh, you know, it all paid off, you know. My old guy, Mark Pizer, good friend of mine, I want to thank him, I learned so much from him uh, on being consistent, tucking in tight doing the same thing repetitious every single time. Take a deep breath, putting it between first and second gear when you're backing up in a water box to mental preparation. I mean, you have to be consistent. So I want to thank him also. Any more questions for Jerry? Nope. I'm a boring guy. <laughs> a boring guy, guy. <laughs> okay, one more question. What's just harder? Dealing with alligators, you're winning the U.S. <laughs> uh, just winning a race in pro stock motorcycle, funny car, top fuel, pro stock car, and it's these guys are so good that you're running against. You know, it's it's tough. Raising alligators is not easy, but it's it's easier. <laughs> I don't think there's a person in the room that'll trade places with you in the alligator farm. Yeah, I, got I wouldn't trade places with him on the bike. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I got hit by a six for it three weeks ago. If I showed you a picture of my finger, you wouldn't believe it. It really, really, really healed up good. But, uh, he almost <laughs> Stuff like got infected. And, you know. But anyway, that's all I was What What was the alligator's name? Uh, Suitcase. No. Suitcase. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't make any difference now. <laughs> so, anyway. yeah. All right, Jack, it's your stage. That's an interview. Thank you. That was an interview. Thank That's you. all you got to do is be you. Jerry Sabah, your U.S. Nationals Pro Stock Motorcycle Champion.